Hi, boys and girls. Well, I know in Super Kids, you have always enjoyed when we have done um, our cooking uh, badges that we have been working on. And this is a recipe that we have done many times in Super Kids, and you guys have all had a chance to do it. So I thought it'd be a nice time to remind you of how to make it. We're going to make French toast. But the very first thing, and if you remember in the badge, you need to wash your hands first. So I'm going to come over here, put lots of soap on, and uh, wash my hands, put lots of soap, make sure it's warm water, get my hands nice and clean, take some paper towels, dry them off. And then I always seem to make a mess when I uh, cook, so I'm going to put an apron on just to protect my super kids shirt. And so what we're going to make, you might be wondering what we're going to make. Well, we are going to make French toast. Now, remember last time when we did French toast, the eggs were a big problem. A lot of times, you guys, when you crack the eggs, the shell would get inside. So you're going to crack one egg, and you do it on the side, like so. Now, I'm actually going to put a piece of shell in there, just to, so you can see a piece of shell in my bowl. Now, a lot of times, people try to get it out by with a knife or a fork or a spoon. But the best way to get your shell out is actually with the shell. And there you go. Comes out no problem at all. And here's our second egg. Wouldn't it be nice on Easter Sunday that you get up and ask your mom if you can help make breakfast and you can make French toast? Now you'll see I have all the ingredients here. One of the things I forgot, which I should have done, and you are probably sitting there and saying, oh, Kathy, you forgot it. I should have checked to make sure I had all the ingredients. Let's do that. Eggs, check. Salt, check. Cinnamon, check. Milk, check. Ham, everything, and most important, our bread. I have all the ingredients. So I put the two eggs in here and I just whip them together. Now, remember, I used to talk to you about what a pinch of something was. I would get you to pinch yourself. In this recipe, you put a pinch of salt. So here I go, putting a pinch of salt and a pinch of cinnamon. Here I go. My pinch, I think I'll put another little pinch of cinnamon. And I put this, whisk it all together. Now I need to put my milk in. My milk is two tablespoons of any type of milk that you have. So there's one tablespoon and two tablespoons. And then I'm going to whip that up. Looks nice and creamy. And you try to get a good sized bowl on the bottom flat so that when you take your bread. Now this will do um, two or three pieces of bread. Now I'm going to take my pan that I have. I don't want it to stick. So I'm going to Spray it all like that. I'm going to actually put it on the burner right now. Need to check to see which one it is. Okay, I'm going to put it on pretty high and let it get hot. And then I'm going to take my bread and I just kind of flop, pop it in there. Now, you can use your finger to turn it or you can use a fork. You don't want it to set into the bread too long because it gets really, really soggy. My burner is on. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to take another piece, put it inside, and flip it over just like that. So both sides get covered. This side here, as you can see, it hasn't been totally covered. So I'm going to do it one more time. Normally, with the two eggs and uh, the two tablespoons of milk, you usually can do three pieces of bread. So you have a little bit left, you could do one more if you wanted to. Well, stay tuned, I'll come back with the finished product in just one moment. Wow, they look really good. Now one of the things, boys and girls, you will not probably be able to use the stove, uh, many of you. Some of you might be able to use it with your parents supervising. So after they're done, make sure the, the stove is turned off nice French toast there. Now I like my French toast with maple syrup. Some people like Aunt Jemima and different things. I like a little bit of butter on it. Just kind of... Wow, 
I'm excited about having this for my lunch. Wouldn't this be great to have on maybe Good Friday or Easter? Okay, here I go. It is good. Well, boys and girls, remember, that's how you make French toast. I will have the recipe included. But remember I told you about the eggshells? We're going to do something with them. First of all, we're just going to drop them in some water. Make sure we get all the stuff off in a little warm water. And then we're going to take them out and we want to dry them. Later on, I'm going to show you a craft that we can make for Easter with those broken eggshells. Thanks for joining me on learning on how to make French toast. Hi boys and girls, I'm back to tell you what you can do with those eggshells. Now, your eggshells probably look like this from making our French toast. Now what we're going to do is make this craft and one of the things you're going to have to do first of all is you're going to have to color the eggshell. Now there's different things that you could use to color it with. You could use food coloring, you could ask your mom if she has any, or you could use a marker and just color it in like this as much as you can so you can I'm coloring it all in or you could use uh, pencil crayons or maybe you even have paint at home. You're going to color it all into different colors if you want and then you're going to crush it like this or you can take a pair of scissors and cut it into little pieces and it should end up looking something like this. Now this is pink which I have different colors of pink in here. Here is yellow that I have of eggshells. And here is some different colors of purple. Once you have those all done, you will make um, a cross like this. Make it out of a little bit of a, a stronger piece of paper than just regular paper or maybe a little cardboard. Once you have that done, you're going to take some glue and put it all over the front of your cross. Now, if you don't have any glue at home, you can make a paste making a paste from a little bit of flour and a little bit of water and you can put that with your finger just kind of put it all over that and then you take your eggshells that you have and you sprinkle them all over the cross and then your finished product looks like this what a wonderful thing you can add as a centerpiece for your table for this easter season maybe put it on at your door uh, so people can see it maybe at your front window but it's just some easy craft to use our eggshells with. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Take care. Hi, super kids and children of uh, Moncton First Church of the Nazarene. It's our time now to have a story. And I don't know if many of you know about GPSs, what a GPS is. A lot of times people have that in their car to help them learn uh, show them how to get somewhere. For instance, if you wanted to go from Moncton to Halifax and you were unsure, you could put in your phone, put in, tell me how to get there, or you could do it in your car and it would tell you exactly which exits to take to get there. Well, I'm gonna to talk to you about um, the way we can get to heaven. Now, all I have is a blank piece of paper. So I am going to make something. Let's see what I can make with this blank piece of paper. How can we get to heaven? What would be the way that we would be able to go? Well, there could be a lot of different ways. Um, maybe, you know, a lot of people like to fly. You can pay to uh, get a ticket to go on an airplane. You know, I've been on many air airplanes before, and you know, you go very high in the sky. So maybe, if we could go high enough in a plane, then um, you would be able to go to heaven. But you know what? I don't think that's right. I don't think you can go on an airplane and go to heaven. That's not the way that it talks about it in the Bible. But maybe, just maybe, I'm not sure. I'm ripping my airplane, as you can see. Maybe, you know, something that would be go higher. What would go higher than an airplane? Is it possible that maybe a rocket ship could go into space and you would go up into heaven and, but you know what? 
That is not the way to heaven either. There is only one way that we will be able to go to heaven someday. And that is because of Jesus who died on the cross for us boys and girls. And when we ask Jesus to come into our life and to forgive, forgive us of the wrong things that we have done, only then will we have our way to heaven. I'm going to read a verse for you. It's found in John chapter 14, verses 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Remember this Easter, boys and girls, what Jesus did for us on Good Friday. We don't have to pay. We don't have to pay for a plane ticket. We don't have to pay for GPS to take us somewhere to try to get to heaven. Jesus paid the price for all of us so that we, someday, will be able to join him when we ask him into our life. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, I just thank you for each boy and girl that is listening today. And I just pray, Lord, that if they don't know you, and they haven't asked you to be their friend and forgive them of things that they have done wrong, then I ask you right now that they will ask you into their heart. And I am just so excited that maybe one boy and girl does that today. In your name I pray, amen. Hi boys and girls, it's really going to be different this year for Easter. I am so used to seeing you guys on Easter. We always have a big breakfast here at the church and we always usually sing some songs for our parents and do some reading from the Easter story. But this year is going to be a little different. So I talked to the Super Kids leaders and we kind of came up with something we thought that you may like. So tomorrow, I am going to go and visit uh, the Super Kids and drop something off to you. Now, in the packet, there's a, a quite a bit of things for you, but I'm going to show you a few things just to explain what they are. One thing I'm really excited about is I want to thank Caroline Edgar, who is one of the Super Kids teachers. She made these little bags that say on it, Happy Easter, He Has Risen. There's a lot of little treats in that along with another big bag that you'll be receiving. But there is also a, a few things in it that you may wonder what it is. One thing is it's a little cross that we have and it's all black. But if you start to mark on it, you will see there is color underneath. So you can write anything you want and color will appear underneath this black cross. That is one thing. And another thing is, I know a lot of you are at home and trying to find things to do, so we have included a birdhouse for you to decorate and put out on maybe on one of your trees because a lot of the birds are coming back for summer and they don't know that a lot of people uh, have to stay in their homes. So they're coming back and you know what? I think they're going to want some place to sit and maybe watch you play in your yard. So if you don't have any paint at home, Again, a marker works wonderful on this wood, also a pencil crayon or even a crayon. So color it and make it the best you can and put it outside. I know you will enjoy doing it and I know the birds will welcome the little uh, place for them to sit when they come back from Florida or somewhere where they've been nice and hot. Now, when I come to visit you tomorrow, unfortunately, I have to be very, very careful. Um, we have all the bags done up now, so they'll sit, and then they'll only be handled with gloves on. And then I don't want to scare you, but I'm going to have to wear a mask like this. Now, I know I look funny, don't I? And can you hear me? I'm going to have a mask like this, and guess what else I'm going to have? Look at my long fork. Can you see how long it is? I'm going to have a long fork that I'm going to ring your doorbell like this. And then I'm going to pass this to whoever is there. 
and say happy Easter and then I'm going to be on my way now if you're not home I will drop it on the front doorstep I've checked with um, the parents and they all know it's coming but you don't know what else is in the bag so hopefully you'll be surprised um, again as I have said I really really miss seeing you especially tonight is Wednesday night and I'm here at the church all by myself and um, but I know that we will be together shortly remember boys and girls it's an exciting weekend Jesus has risen have a wonderful Easter and God bless you and your family during this time take care bye bye